Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Good to see everybody here today. Hope you're having a good day. We're going to get started this morning. I have a NAS, which is a network attached, network attached storage. It's a Synology DS918. And if you saw my last video, I upgraded the memory on it from 4 gigs to 8 gigs. Hopefully that'll make a world of difference in what I do. Uh, we use it for a Plex video server, which we stream video and movies and TV shows. Time machine backups for both of our Macs. Uh, Windows backups for my Windows machines. Uh, a file server for my video projects. And I run a Docker container with Homebridge to, and to um, do all my smart devices around the house. So I got all that going on. It needs to be up 24-7. I'm always worried about security when it comes to software and internet connected devices and stuff. And I've been watching the DSM, which DSM is the software that runs on Synology NAS. Uh, I'm at 6.2, something like the latest version of 6.2. Uh, they have 7.0.1. 7.0.1 out right now I've been watching it for quite a while make sure there's nothing to blow out um, but I want to go ahead and update my NAS I know I've rambled on here so let's let's look at my NAS here and so this is the user interface for my NAS I got one volume showing I got two but if I go to the control panel and info center uh, everything's normal if I go down to update and restore, now this is a DSM update, and I'm at 6.2.4.25556, 6 update 6. Wow, that's crazy. So what I want to do, I want to go in. You always want to back up your system configuration before you do anything like this. Before I do a manual update on any minor, a minor update, uh, I always come here to the configuration backup, and I back up my configuration. And this backs up everything. You know, your Docker container might not, but that can be put back pretty easy. Uh, all the, the main system stuff for your NAS will be backed up. So I want a yes. And now I have downloaded it to my downloads folder, so I know it's there. Now you can go over here to System Reset and erase it and start all over from scratch. I've done that before. But I want to go here to DSM Update. And I'm going to go ahead and download it. And hopefully that won't take very long. Matter of fact, it's not. Okay. So now it says Upgrade. And what I want to do, I want to upgrade it. And then once I verify everything's cool and I don't have to go back and put it back to 624, we'll go through all the, the new features on it. But I'm going to go ahead and hit Upgrade. Okay, it says it takes 10 to 20, while package updates may take an hour. Depends on your system. Uh, it says some of my stuff will take a manual or require a manual update, which that's cool. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to understand the grid of the system. Hit next. Uh, do not shut down or power off. Mine's connected to a UPS, so. Lord willing, we're okay. I'm going to hit yes. And uh, I'll speed you through this. Okay, it's uh, it switched screens. Now it's uh, a system database update is in progress. It takes about 15 minutes to complete. Do not shut down the system during this process because I'm pretty sure you can make a break out of it. So... So we'll sit and uh, I'll speed you through this process too. It made one little beeping noise there when it first started. So let's watch this one. It's like watching paint dry. Okay. 
All right, looks like we're in DSM-7 now. So it allowed me to log in. It said the database is still upgrading. Uh, it says streamlined and more intuitive, easier management and maintenance, faster and more secure. So that took 15, 15 minutes or so. Uh, Active Insight, centrally monitor the health of your Synology NAS devices and expedite technical support services. Mine's out of warranty, so configuration backup, automatically back up your system settings to the cloud. Secure sign-in, so we'll, we'll go through all that later. Uh, device analytics, no, I won't worry about that now. So it's still only showing one of my volumes, which is good. Uh, it's the way I wanted it. Just tell me a couple of uh, strength in the updates. Take a quick tour. We won't do that. Okay. So everything... So it's going to tell me that um, certain things are not working, but my UPS is working. I have a bad sector warning on one of my drives. Oh, it's not enabled. I'm sorry. Bad sector warning on media and is not enabled. Okay. So we'll go through all these notifications and see how things are going. Uh, I've got all my pictures and videos backed up. Uh, so it's going to take a while to do all that. Go through and make sure everything's running. Where's my plate server at? It may not have put plate server back on there. I may have to. I may have to do that myself. No match found. Hmm. So, okay, so here's my Plex Media Server. It needs repair. So all one word will replace Plague Media Server. We'll hit repair on this. I guess it'll download the newest version. Uh, I will need to install the, the latest home bridge for this for all my smart devices. Okay, we'll go through all this later. All right, updated to DSM 7.0. I'm going to go through and fix my Plex server. Make sure all my file shares are still working, my time machine backups. But uh, that's it's probably going to take a whole hour all together, but uh, 15, 20 minutes to do that, and hopefully I'm secure now. Uh, been getting a lot of updates for security and stuff here lately. But anyway, I hope you all like this video. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments. That's all I got. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell be notified if you like this content let me know if you like this kind of content if it helps you let me know so like i always say until the next video thanks for watching